Yeah, with Forest Green coming up in a cup, it's um, you know a great opportunity for us to to get back playing again after you know after that that lengthy delay. Um, something we're all extremely excited about. Uh, talking to a couple of the lads this morning, sort of saying, can't believe the season's here. Although we've waited so long, and then you know we've we've come back, and we fixtures have been in place for a little while now. It's, it's sort of all of a sudden that well, here we are, we're we're ready to go. So we feel as though we're prepared. We've worked hard. Um, I think when I say we've worked hard, I, would, I, I think the boys deserve a lot of credit for the shape that they came back in after lockdown. Um, so it obviously then gave us a real platform to work them and, and get us back to back to trying to find what a familiar way of, of, of working during these circumstances has been about. But uh, we look forward to uh, to the opportunity of going to Forest Green tomorrow and embracing that, that challenge. Pre-season has gone very well and it's been a, a real taste of, of what football is like behind closed doors, both internally but with the testing and then obviously being out on the pitch. It's going to be a real challenge tomorrow as well with that being a competitive fixture. Yeah, an odd as well because um, I'm, I'm I'm convinced that it does change some of the dynamic. You know, I'm sure you know little decisions within the game, whether it be just the ball going out from a throw on and taking a touch off of somebody else, is always a bit of a reminder from the crowd and can sometimes influence the, the referee. And obviously, at the same time with uh, with the bigger decisions as well. Um, so we're going to miss we're going to miss the supporters and the influence and the. Uh, the highs and lows that all of that brings, you know, knowing that when you get an ascendancy in the game, that the crowd get right behind you. We know how well that um, the Leighton Orient fans travel, so we, you know that's going to be another thing that we um, we're going to miss from the occasion. But it's something we have to embrace, like everything that we've um, we've done during pre-season. It's it's been new. We've had to be creative. That's been a big word of ours: is to think outside the box and try to come up with ways in which we're going to embrace what 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 football now looks like. We're hoping it's not for a lengthy period, but um, you know, however long or short it's going to be, we're going to be doing our best to make sure that we're picking up wins while we're doing it. Forest Green, of course, sit in our division. Uh, the game could be a real kind of... It could really show us how successful pre-season has been. It could also set a marker of what, what's to come in the division. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think, like anything, uh, opening day, last games of the season, those ones are always throw up a little bit of a uh, curveball somewhere along the line, and there's results that people are not prepared for or didn't see coming. Um, but I think so. I think what it does for us is we've had League One opposition, we've had under 23s opposition. This gives us an idea of you know, where we compare to the level. But I think it's ultimately not a game that's going to define our season. Uh, we want to go. We want to go there and win. We want to. Uh, we want to have a cup run. Uh, albeit, it seems strange to be saying that before we've kicked a ball. But um, you know, it's something that we that we're going to go out to try and set our own standard and, and show what we're capable of. But like I say it doesn't define your season. What happens on the first day? But at the same time, you always want to get off to a good start. A trip early in the year was rained off, so you have to go back to last year when we when we faced them and test inside, and and then it, it'd be worth touching on kind of the, the touchline. Incident, which of course does that bring any kind of element into this fixture? Um, no, not really. Um, I think I've said to you before that there'll always be those reminders, but that's for me to manage. Um, that's for you know that's that's for a completely different subject. It's a new game. It's a new opportunity for us to go and win a game of football. So that's how I'm embracing it. That's how I'm sure the players are all are all looking at it. Um, I'm sure if there was a crowd in, it might be a little bit of a different different situation in terms of what might come from the stands, but. Um, now my main focus, the players' main focus, is the game of football tomorrow, and, and trying to go and win and, and get through to the next round. So that'll be what's at the forefront of all of our minds. For you and the squad, the bigger picture is we've got three games coming this week: Brighton midweek, and then Oldham, the, the opening game of the, of the uh, league season. There's going to be real impetus on the squad to all be yeah. ready when they're called upon. Yeah, and I think that's what I. I'm excited about for this week ahead. You know, my priority is the Forest Green game, and we'll worry about the Brighton one once the. Once the whistle goes at, at Forest Green and it's over, but um, that's the great thing about you know the broader picture is that the next the next week sees a lot of football and it gives everyone an opportunity to to get out on the pitch and and stake a claim. I think uh, you know we're all excited for the start of the league season and um, tomorrow and and the Brighton game are also opportunities for me to pick a team to go and win our first league game. So. I think the great thing is, with it being behind closed doors, you're not going to go and play at Forest Green with a certain few thousand in the stadium and then a few hundred at the Brighton under 23s game. The the, the, um, the culture, the environment, the atmosphere is all going to be the same whatever game you go to on, on, on Saturday or Tuesday. So it gives everyone that real 
key opportunity to go and go and do what they're capable of and and and, and stake a claim to to start the game at Oldham. Finally, touching on the arrival of Jordan Thomas now, he's been here since midweek, so he's had a couple of sessions with the yep. lads and, and then straight into the game. So it's going to be a real test for him. Yeah. I think the biggest test for a lad of in Jordan's situation at 19 years old is to come into a new environment. Um, you know, we've spoke already and I've said how important it is for a 19 year old to embrace that. Lads have been giving him a little bit of stick today and I think those things show that he's, you know, um, shown a way of settling into the group. That takes more time, not just two, two or three sessions. But he's shown that he's you know, got a character to step in and have conversations with people, which is massive for a 19-year-old kid. We just sometimes forget that with him being a, a footballer that you just get on with it. But there's more to it than that. So um, we've given Jordan a good couple of days to settle into the group. I think it'd be great, you know, on the coach with the lads to and from the game. is another stage for him to, to really ingrain himself in the group because it's a familiar group for everyone. So, it, you know, an, again, another tough, tough experience for him to fit in with everyone. But... I know how welcoming they can be and I know that they're going to give him every opportunity to be a success at this football club. Perfect, thank you, boss.